I'd like to start with the story. So there is a terrible car accident in which the father is killed and his son is injured and taken to the hospital. When the boy is brought into surgery, the surgeon looks at the boy and said, I can't operate on this patient. This is my son. How is this possible? Now, you probably realise that the surgeon is the mother. Now, if you can think outside the box, think logically, then um, you'd probably be very good at R coding. I'd just like to run through some myths of coding. So myth one is there are two types of people in this world, those that know how to code and those that can't. The reality is a simple learning curve. So we're somewhere along that learning curve, every one of us is. You would never compare yourself to a native Spanish speaker a few weeks into learning the language, nor would you consider yourself less than capable. Myth two is that stack does not matter. So all of the following companies use different technologies. Um, and some may be outdated or deemed outdated, but the fact that they all work, it doesn't matter. As long as, long as you understand one of those and a way of doing things, then that's all that matters. I mean, I've learned R code. I use R Studio, and I launch website using websites using Shiny App. Myth three is that you need to learn three thousand eight hundred and twenty languages frameworks to be a real developer. But the fact is that. That's not true at all. As long as you understand what you're doing and it works, then that is what matters. Um, I just don't get programming and never will. I think this is very important. Uh, logic doesn't equal syntax. Logic is what we're trying to achieve, while syntax is the specific set of rules that you that get you there. For most people, they are logical and that clicks immediately, but they get hung up on the fact that they don't understand the syntax right away. But that's okay. Syntax does take time, and the best part of learning to code, to code is that there is a constant online dictionary available to you, which is Google. Uh, myth five is I don't have anything to build. If you truly believe that, then you're probably looking too hard for the perfect idea. If we take a look at some of the biggest tech companies and distill down their ideas to the simplest form, Evernight, Evernote is a note-taking app, Reddit is a public for forum, and Medium is a blogging platform. Ideas and executions are functions of one another, but ultimately, execution is much more important than ideas. Myth six is that you started too late, but we're actually only about 0.5% of the world knows how to code. So you are still an in innovator if you start now. Um, myth seven is I don't have enough time. Now the magic number of hours seems to be about 300 to learn our code. Um, but when you add it up over weeks and weeks and weeks, it doesn't actually take very long to reach those 300 hours. And you probably will find that you quite enjoy doing it. So you spend more and more time time doing it. So without further ado, oh, I just want to go through um, what I've used our code to do. Um, I am an educator, um, senior students, um, and I've used it for tracking students um, throughout the different age groups, um, identify struggling students, and um, produce automated reports to parents. But I've also used it for a lot, lot more analyzing data um, and identifying where the problem areas are. Um, so without further ado, we'll make a start on installing R and R Studio and setting up your computer so we can actually start doing some coding. So welcome to the course and we'll make a start now. <laughs> 